Hey, happy Monday. So, I feel a bit guilty about what I ate this weekend out at a family reunion. Woke up today five pounds up from where I started on Friday. I know it will return to baseline though. You know why? I'll show you why in a second. But first I want to talk about why I'm sharing this. Uh, to help you understand that you can slip up and not completely ruin your, your fitness progress, right? It's a journey over many years. It's not a 30 day approach. A lifelong event with ups and downs. And at times you'll be motivated, other times you won't be, but you gotta just keep going. Because it's never really over. And if you treat it as such, you'll just return back to your old weight. And that's what people usually screw up and do. So as long as you're not giving up, you're going to be just fine. But let me get into how I know I'm going to be back to five pounds down by Wednesday. Some clients will email me on a Monday freaking out that they're a few pounds up. I'm going to alleviate those concerns because typically two people are, people fall into two camps when it comes to those little slip-ups. Those who think their progress is ruined so they just keep overeating and totally screw up. And then there's those others who freak out and try to compensate for it by starving themselves the next day. You know, that approach can work sometimes uh, if you've got a very time-sensitive goal. But I would suggest you avoid that and find a middle ground. So if you're that type that thinks they've screwed up and just want to quit, use the analogy, if you failed one test in college, would you drop out entirely? And I'm guessing if it was important to you, you'd get right back into study mode. Learn from your mistakes. So why do most people quit their diet after one bad weekend? Not sure. The big key is, if you've got one bad day of eating, you got to get back on track. It's Monday, the perfect time to reset and refocus. Because quite simply, it's hard to gain actual body fat in one or two days. You know, to gain a pound of fat, you need to consume roughly 3,500 calories over your maintenance level. I mean, that's not a perfect measurement, but how that relates is if your maintenance is 2,000 calories, you'd, ha you'd have to eat 5,500 calories in a day to gain one pound of fat. That's a full-time job in eating. So what I'm saying is that weight gain is not likely entirely fat. It's a lot of water, stored carbs. And that doesn't take into account things like the activity levels you have on a weekend, the thermic effect of eating that much food, that adds up. And then you store some as carbs in your muscle and liver. It's not just fat cells. So. That's it. Not all calories are stored as fat when you overeat. Plus your body is always going through a phase of fat balance. Some days it's gonna be losing fat, at times of the day it's gonna be gaining fat, and it kind of ebbs and flows, right? Particularly if you're on a diet, it's easy to get back into that because you're eating less. So doesn't it make sense to just get back on track the next day? Ensure your body gets back to burning fat as quick as possible. That seems to be the rational answer. So yes, you are right, Mitch. Not an agreement. So, it may seem like you gain fat the next day, but it's mostly bloat. Get that in your head, it's mostly bloat, water weight, salt, stored carbs, okay? So I know I'm kind of rambling on here today, but I wanted to make sure on a Monday in the summer, a lot of people wake up and feel kind of bad and down on themselves. And that's not where we want to be. We want to just turn the page. Of course, you don't want to make a habit of having these big blow up weekends because they will undo your hard work from the week if you consistently do them. And especially when it comes to really junk food, processed food, that stuff's more likely to be stored as fat and more likely for you to overeat it as well because it tastes good. And then you combine that with alcohol, which expedites fat law or fat storage because your body stops metabolizing foods when you have alcohol in your system. So that its priority is to metabolize the alcohol so fat burning is suppressed. So booze puts the brakes on fat loss if taken to excess. <clears throat> so I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but you do need to make some sacrifice here. So one last point before I finish. If you want to make this a lifestyle, you need to 
you know, understand you're going to slip up once in a while, and that's okay. And the more you accept and move on, the better off you'll be. But at the same time, you were and are going to have to make some changes. Because it's what really matters is your weight and calorie intake over the course of a week, not one day blips. So think of the big picture. If the weekly trend is down, if you're losing weight over time, you are doing okay. All right? That's it for this Monday. Have a great week. Send me a direct message if you have any questions about water weight versus body fat gains or uh, anything else on your mind. Let's make it a good week.